Fiverr sucks, okay? And that's the general theme of this video. I started selling services on Fiverr 8 months ago and during the time I earned some money as a freelancer, hired a few people, so basically now I run a small agency and also realized that I need to quit Fiverr for good. And you might be wondering, why? It doesn't make any sense. Things are going great, you earn some money, why would you quit this platform? So in this video I'm gonna talk about a few reasons why Fiverr is a terrible place for freelancers and why you probably shouldn't even start selling here. Okay, first things first, let me quickly explain the concept of Fiverr. It's a platform where anyone can buy and sell services. It's kind of like an online marketplace for freelancers from all around the world. On Fiverr you can find all sorts of gigs ranging from logo design, marketing, video editing and many many more. A few years ago, just for fun, I happened to work on Fiverr as a Tinder advisor. <laughs> it started as a joke and I put some gigs out there and at some point I got some orders and basically I was helping desperate single dudes on how to get laid. And now, this time, I decided to choose a little bit more boring and serious niche and it's marketing and copywriting. Okay, let's get back to Fiverr and why this platform absolutely sucks. It's super hard to get started. Yes, and for some reasons no one really talks about it. Technically it's very easy. You fill out some information, you put yourself online, insert some gigs and you're good to get your first orders. In reality though, people wait for months before they get their first client because this platform is extremely competitive. Fiverr is widely used by sellers from India, Pakistan and Nigeria and it's a lot of people to compete with. I did my homework, okay, and it turned out that there are 3 million active sellers on the platform. So, therefore, the only way to get started is to put your price to the bare minimum and it's $5 for a service. And that's why it's called Fiverr and this is what I did and it was horrible. Fiverr is like a race to the bottom. Most gigs are offered at a ridiculously low price and at the same time those customers don't take you seriously if you charge too little. In other words, they treat you like a digital slave who will do whatever they want for 5 bucks. It's like some modern post-colonialism shit where people from wealthy western countries exploit people from third world countries. And yes, this is how I got my first orders and reviews. And literally I was writing articles, technical articles for 5 or 10 bucks and those clients who order these articles are, oh my god, they're the worst. They're really demanding, they always complain, they're rude. And most of them are from, you know, wealthy countries and they know that I do this basically for free. They know it, because it's five dollars. But they also know that I need those five star reviews, so they try to manipulate it. And surprise, surprise, I also got some one star reviews for technical articles for five dollars. And I have a fucking master's degree, you know? I'm not bragging about it, but you know, I would never expect that I would work for such a ridiculous pay rate. So this experience was totally dehumanizing. In Berlin, you know, you can't even buy a donor for five bucks anymore. Fiverr is like Tinder, where your ultimate goal is to get married. You wanna get a long-term client that pays you a fixed retainer each month. Yes, of course you can find this client on Fiverr too, but it's just more likely that they'll just ghost you after your first date. Since Fiverr doesn't have this retainer feature, you need to constantly search for new clients. And this can be very tiring and time consuming, right? And also you never have a feeling of security because your earnings always fluctuate. And this leads us to the next reason, algorithms. Fiverr is not about stability at all because your exposure to new clients depends on automated recommender systems and mostly these algorithms work fine, but sometimes not. And this summer I had a period where my impressions just stopped. I didn't get any new clients for like a month or so. And you know, I've put lots of efforts into developing my profile, setting up gigs, getting first reviews and working for 5 bucks. And just after a brief upside, no orders, no clients, nothing. After doing some research, I found out that many people complain about the same issue. You know, they have excellent reviews, they get orders, they have clients, everything's going great, and then at some point it just stops. Algorithms just stop pushing you forward. No one knows why it happens, but the speculation is that they do some sort of reset of algorithms uh, to promote new sellers. Anyway, maybe it's true, maybe not, but all I know for sure is that every time it happens, you need to basically start from scratch. The networking effect is missing. Fiverr is a very automated and anonymous platform. You barely need to talk to your clients and therefore you don't get to know them personally. So for 8 months I was able to establish just a few long-term client relationships where I know for sure that if they need a writer they're gonna contact me. And as you probably know, networking is very important for building your business, agency or freelance career. And Fiverr unfortunately is not about that. 20% fees. Yes, it's annoying and nothing more to say. 
But Fiverr still is an awesome platform if you want to start freelancing as quickly as possible, looking for a side hustle that pays off right away, or you want to improve your skills by getting hands-on experience. And you know, it's still great if you live in one of those countries where for 5 bucks you can buy a few meals. Just be aware of the downsides of this platform. And I'm not preaching that you shouldn't start Fiverr, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy that I started my freelancing career on Fiverr, it was really easy to set up, really easy to start, but I think now it's just time for me to get to the next level, you know, get some clients through different channels and get, you know, those bigger and long-term clients. Thanks for watching, leave a like and write down in the comments what topic should I cover in the next week. Peace.